In this video, we are talking about the different types of phases for the inverters. So uh, we are working with voltage source inverters. So there are two main breakdowns of that. Typically, there's a single phase inverter and there's a three phase inverter. And then we're going to talk about some voltage definitions. But let's just talk about what these are. So we have a inverter, so voltage sources at the beginning. And we have them divided, so VDC divided by two, and we're putting the zero, the ground, here in the middle of them. Actually, from the inverter side, this doesn't matter. It's more about the definition of phase voltage, which we'll get to. But the single phase inverter takes this DC input and then creates one phase of AC at the output. You're going to have one load generally connected from two points, and that's your output. For the three-phase inverter, we, it's a little more complicated. We still have a single DC at the input on the source side, and we are defining from ground to here. And, but the three-phase inverter is going to actually create three different output voltages in AC. So we're going to have three different output terminals and those are going to be, here they're labeled VA, VB, and VC, and those are going to go to the a three phase output. Here we're showing uh, all of them connected to a neutral point. So we're going to later get into what is actually inside of these types of inverters, but first we should just define some terms. For phase voltage, phase voltage is the voltage at the output relative to your zero on the input side. So in this case, this is actually going to be VO here. This is assumed to be uh, relative to zero. So on the single side, it's actually much simpler. It's just going to be VO. For the three phase one, this is going to be this voltage VA, VB, VC relative to this zero. So this O is zero. So that's already kind of labeled there. So we would just call that VA, VB, and VC. So that's assumed it's relative to the ground here. Those are, of course, relative to the input side. But actually, on the output sides, there is different terminology that we can use. The first one is going to be line to neutral, or it could be called the load phase voltage, the phase voltage on the load side. Um, line to neutral will is applies much more <laughs> to the three phase one. Uh, but if we were to apply that here, actually it would still be VO. There's only just one output here. So um, really this term you would use for three phase. So for, this, for the three phase, what this means is line to neutral. So line meaning this output that's coming out. So we would have three different terms here. So VA, VB, VC not relative to this ground anymore, but relative to this neutral point. So when we write that out, we would call this VAN. So if we're kind of drawing an arrow here, it would be from here to here. This would be VAN. All right. And then we'd have a VBN. So here would be this voltage to this voltage, BN. And then a VCN this voltage to this voltage, so VCN. All right, so those are our line to neutral voltages. The last term we need to define is line to line voltage. And again, this doesn't really apply to the single one. All of these would just be VO. So really, we just call this output voltage on the single phase inverter side. For the three phase inverter, this is yet a new value. So this is going to be the voltage, the voltages relative to each other with these three output terminals. So, for example, the first one is going to be VAB. VAB. So that means we're looking from the VB to the VA, or yes, VA, so VAB. So it's, it would be VA minus VB would give you this voltage. The next one is going to be from right here, VBC. So this is from this voltage to this voltage, VBC, sorry about my writing there. 
And then the third one would be around that one. So it's actually going to be V, uh, C, A. So from here, and I'm going to draw through some of these here. V, C, A, here. It's hard to visual on a 2D graph or 2D visualization, but if there were these three voltages, it would be each of these voltages relative to each other. So um, those are what we call line-to-line -line voltages. And when we're working with three-phase systems, uh, we do distinguish between these different types. So for the three-phase inverter, we have phase voltage, which is relative to the ground on the input side. We have line to neutral, which is all on the output side, the voltage relative to some the neutral phase of the three-phase system. And then line to line, which is going to be between the different phase voltages here. So these are the different de definitions you would need to know for the three-phase inverter. For the single-phase inverter, everything's just the output. VO. The inverter itself will work to create different voltages at these outputs, so the VO, based on the input voltages, the VDC, and it may come out as VDC over 2 or the full VDC or 0, depending on the type of topologies. Other videos will get into that. The three-phase inverter will look at the take the VDC value or different proportions of that value and put that to the output side, and so we will see various values for the phase voltage, the line-to-neutral voltage, and the line-to-line -line values. And this is for a three-phase load of some sort. Summarize, the single-phase inverter has one AC output. The three-phase inverter has three AC outputs that are generally phase-shifted equally. Because the three-phase inverter has many different parts, we break down some of the definitions as the phase voltage, which is relative to the input side ground, line-to-neutral voltage, which is relative to our neutral point and our load, and a line-to-line -line voltage, which is relative to the three terminals coming out of the three-phase inverter. There you go. There are some definitions to learn. Don't forget them. We'll use them in the future.